Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can domain join a Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise uh, computer to your Azure AD. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be using for the for this video purposes I'm going to be using this Windows 10 Pro which I have set up on uh, just set up on a virtual box. There is no use, uh, AD user on this. It's a, the only user. I'm going to show you very quickly. Computer management. So if we go there, and uh, it's taking some time because it's a virtual machine. But uh, yeah, let's go to users, users. And as you can see, there's only one user account here, which is a local admin account. And uh, I also wanted to show you before I get started that I have a trial uh, tenant set up uh, which is an enterprise uh, Microsoft tenant and uh, I have, I'm going to be using this user test at uh, techies.ca email which has an E3 license uh, to, to, to use to join this computer to the, to the, to the Azure AD this one. so this is the Azure AD for the same tenant if I go to the dashboard again so Azure Active Directory devices and it's going to show you that there is no device whatsoever connected currently. Uh, keep in mind any user who wants to join to the Azure AD will need uh, an Azure P1 license minimum and uh, if you have an office subscription too then uh, if the user has a business standard license or E3 or E5 then they are good they will be able to join the the, the Windows machine to the Azure AD uh, okay with that out of the way we'll hop back to your machine and uh, the place you want to go to is uh, settings and accounts access work or school and you can see the connect option here click on the connect and it's, gonna, it's quite slow. Let's see. So you will see this option for sure. Join this device to Azure uh, Active Directory. So we'll click on that. That's basically going to ask for an email account which exists on the, the tenant. So as I said, I'm going to be using this email here. So I'm just going to copy paste, see if that works with the virtual box. And it still hasn't loaded up yet. It has, but it's glitch you as try pasting. No, I don't think this is going to be a problem. Okay, one more try. Click on connect, join this device to Azure, and need to give this more resources but that's fine so test the techies.ca is the email address which is this one and password uh, I don't need to tell you that so I'm just gonna type it in here whatever is your user account password please do that please type that in so it's gonna take some time and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video or wait a minute so this is the prompt which will confirm you you know do you want to join this domain so check the details hit join and that should be it it's configuring it there we go you're all set so we'll hit done it, it even tells you in order to use your organization uh, settings you need to switch account so we'll do that and this thing this icon confirms that you are now a, a Azure AD joint so we'll close out of it we will switch user from our local account to the, the tenant account or Azure AD account whatever you want to call it so the username was test the techies dot ca and the password 
connect and type the wrong password. So we'll try again. There we go. So welcome means it's connecting and username is test test, which is my fault. As I have set the same username on the ten and two, so that's fine. And basically that's it. Once uh, this welcome screen is done, it's gonna ask me to uh, go through a few prompts. Uh, when whichever you know, whenever you set up a new user, you get that prompt. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please uh, ask me in the comment section, and I'll be happy to help. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.